everyone this is Chicho welcome to another live stream and today is November 11th 2019 and it's our drop-in math tutoring session for the 2019-2020 school year number seven okay just making myself available for a couple hours uh, to for anyone that needs a little bit of math discussion in their lives uh, and uh, we're doing this uh, these streams on a regular basis this would be our I don't know the seventh one for this school year but we've done a whole bunch in the previous year in the last year or so uh, and you can find those on Bichud and YouTube and we'll continue to do these um, uh, as long as I can tell uh, as uh, for a long time to come okay uh, aside from that that's my little uh, broken introduction to this uh, live stream and if you're watching this on BitChute or YouTube uh, I'll try to provide uh, discussion or X how are you doing I'll try to provide timestamps in the description of the video and it is an open discussion sometimes these math live streams don't end up talking about mathematics we talk about other things if we're talking about any other things Luna good morning or good afternoon or good evening depending on where you are welcome to another live stream and um, if we are talking about anything else other than mathematics or physics or whatever math oriented that uh, people want to talk about feel free to drop your math questions and we'll pause everything else that we're talking about and deal with the mathematics so for these streams mathematics comes first uh, and we do have a little policy i've got a little bot here politics let's see no oh, we got a little automated bot that shows up hello cyanide how are you doing i got your email by the way i'm going to give it a read as soon as i uh most likely today uh possibly tomorrow just because i've been in the news cycle catching up on what's going on in uh bolivia and stuff like this Good evening. OX4D766EOO. -O. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, just because there's lots of politics stuff going on in the world, uh, questions are okay, but we might make a note of it to deal with politics and current events during a politics current events stream, right? Please keep politics and other heavy subjects to their re respective streams. That's sort of the message we have for these math streams uh, but there's a lot going on there's a lot going on difficult thank you for the twitch prime uh, sub exo or ox ox 4 d ox 4 d ox 4 d 766 i have no idea if that even you can say it in one sentence <laughs> double o or triple o you got three o's in there uh, but there's a lot going on in the world and i know there's uh, uh things on a lot of people's minds so we're going to be lenient on that front a little bit today especially in regards to considering what's going on in bolivia right okay uh aside from that uh if you got any math questions we're going to wait until people it takes a little bit of time for people to roll in in general uh, so we're gonna what's up chicho sleepy waves how are you doing it's ascii hexadecimal for m mvn is it oh, no way i don't know why i ask you stuff too well dante how are you doing how's life that's cool i like nice names mine is simple chicho right nickname i've had for i have no idea 25 years I have no idea how long it's been 25 years at least right <laughs> one hope you guys are doing well Olive how you doing did you get uh, to where you wanted to go uh, Olive was on a bus ride overnight uh, six hours overnight would have been our time overnight but I'm not sure if she, I don't think she was over, over overnight then uh, I hope you got home uh, or wherever you're going safe Olive 
Twitching Jason, how's it going? Hey, Chicho. Perfect way to end the work day. Laugh out loud. A math stream. Yeah. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. Damn. I'm upset. I'm upset. I missed the political stream this past week. Been so busy at work. I couldn't focus on the revolution. Yeah, we mainly focused on Julian Assange, Sleepy Waves. Um, but there's a lot going on unbelievable right uh but we sort of knew we've talked about this we knew this stuff was coming right um so you know you can always hope that it doesn't the worst case scenario doesn't come but you should always be prepared for it uh, we started in integrals in my calc class today oh, integration integration threw me for a loop when I was first learning it. Zare, how you doing? Long time no see, brother. How's life? I got home safe, tired, but safe. Awesome, awesome. I hope you got some sleep on the bus. Sleeping on the bus is good, actually. It gives you rocking, rocks, rocks, rocks. Pass out. There's a period in my life where I flew a lot uh, doing geophysics, and I trained myself to pass out during takeoffs and during landings. <laughs> is what's going on bolivia cool yeah promise i'll let you do your mass stream sleepy waves or 100 it's a coup mask of raven how you doing thank you for the tier one sub for two months in a row yeah sleepy waves a coup uh anybody that says it's not a coup they don't know what they're talking about and there are people that i follow that i that i read their stuff that are saying it's not a coup it's a coup <laughs> if it's quack like a duck if it you know flies like a duck swims like a duck bobs his head like a duck if it's if it's got feathers if it tastes delicious when you cook it up and has a lot of grease and you see it in the stores and asian restaurants it's a duck it's a coup it's a coup robert de Tuc, how are you doing there's been people saying their their president was there for too long uh if you're friends with someone for a long time do you, do you do you get rid of them because you've been friends with them for too long and what does that mean if if the person has been brought people out of poverty <laughs> like if you look at this if like straight up mathematics this stuff this stuff is straight up math right like we could i i'm gonna at some point layer the mathematics on top of this politics and look at these graphs i just I'm not there yet right I need to have enough funding coming in have enough buffer zone for me to do this to drop the workload I have one place to really delve into this and we're gonna do it for in the the latest we're gonna get delve into the stuff is the summer of 2020 right I'm hoping to get into that mode earlier but summer of 2020 there might be some hiccups along the way just to let you guys know YouTube released their terms of service and they've mentioned that they might start banning well they will start banning or killing channels that they don't deem to be economically viable whatever course they're using right so I'm gonna make an update video on my YouTube channel and on BitChute as well I'll load it on there just to let people know man if you enjoy this content you also want to subscribe to the BitChute channel because come December with the YouTube term of service I'm already seeing things being knocked down and stat like we're getting more subs on Twitch now on a monthly basis than on YouTube. That should tell you a lot, right? That's that says a lot. Okay. So as soon as uh, but what, anyway, it's this is politics. It's, I'll do an update on this. Um but depending how things play out, um we're going to get into it latest hopefully by the summer of 2020, hopefully earlier. We'll see how it, how it goes, okay? just heated up some lasagna nice busy day with work so I may be able to get away with doing some personal work and listening to the stream for the rest of the day level loud literally feels like a Friday does it yeah for us in Canada it's a it's a holiday it's remembrance day for most people for me I do contract and it's my own boss so anybody that doesn't want to work we don't work anybody that does we do I have no idea what's going on in Bolivia, but I've, 
seen some friends online supporting the president's resignation can't say i have a particular opinion i need to catch up on what's happening twitching jason if you want to catch up i've been i've been sharing some information i've come across that i trust on our discord page under the politics folder so if you want to catch up to what's going on appreciate the situation read those you know you can take them with a grain of salt if you like but it'll give you a nice base and then you can look at everything else right uh, that base right there is pretty crucial to have the reason it's a nice base is because any argument that anybody is saying in support of the coup and it is a coup in support of the coup that information there addresses it so it's better might as well know what the main discussion is before people are throwing stones right is veterans day in america here in america okay cool so we call it remembrance day uh, and memorial day memorial day in the u.s is a different day than veteran veterans day perfect yeah i'll absolutely do that okay awesome to change i hope you find the stuff informative uh but it's worth checking out it's worth checking out okay mathematics we'll see where it takes us as more for my supply of stuff i got tea and i've been following the news feeds a lot so i haven't you know done any prep or anything i'm indulging myself oh sorry about that gang i got some chocolate cookies <laughs> chocolate cookies here i hope that wasn't too loud i hope that wasn't too loud i've been following the news stream since early 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 these are nice cookies actually check it out it's got dark chocolate layer of dark chocolate and uh, like a like a cookie thing thanks for the reminder discord my pleasure and here's a discord it should pop up if i do a little discord Boop. there it is that's the link to the discord page and anyone watching this video on BitShooter, youtube and any other platform will load it on later on the link will be in the description of this video if people are saying it's not a coup then what are they regarding it as <laughs> when the military generals come in and tell you you should resign and they're burning down your family's homes and taking mayors that support you political politicians that support you dragging them into the streets cutting their hair and attacking them and throwing red paint all over them it's a coup uh, it's it's like <laughs> we could go down the rabbit hole it's it's like the obama administration redefining the age of enemy combatants to be any male of fighting age which they decided to be 14 years old right so bringing the age of males to be 14 years old to call them enemy combatants right they're just calling it something else they're kids kids 14 year old is a child right you can redefine terms and sign enemy combatant you can call you can call let's get this in focus you can call a military coup a change in government but it's a military coup yes memorial day is to remember the people who have died serving the military and veterans day is uh is for all members of the military retired or not ah oh, that's the difference okay cool thanks sinai does one class of the cure uh get you feeling nice one glass of liqueur and you feel nice <laughs> sometimes it takes a two-hour liqueur live stream of sampling liqueurs to make me feel super nice uh yeah sometimes just a sip right sometimes if i've eaten something heavy and i need a little bit of uh lemon liqueur i just pour myself just a little bit like this and just take a little sip fantastic right oh i wanted to say i started making my own jam nice my cousin from belgium showed me how she's a big hippie lover nice 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 
what kind of jam from Belgium for sure it'd be berries I'm pretty sure you would start with berries some kind of berries strawberry jam would be delicious blueberry jam is really good we bought a pumpkin I want to make pumpkin jam pumpkin jam is amazing I gotta get the recipe from my mom if I get the recipe from my mom and I'm motivated to do it we'll do a live stream of making pumpkin jam okay. apricot mm, delicious delicious apricot is fantastic apricot peach uh, super good is that a painting covered by comic books <laughs> not a painting a print it's but yeah covered with comic books Latin America is shaking me. Yeah, it's shaking. Me. Yeah. RN. I don't know what RN stands for. Thank you, Lander, for the follow. This, these, uh, these frames. I have a bunch of these frames. I got from uh, one of my students. They were moving, and they didn't have, uh, they didn't have the room to the new place they were going to. Right now. Oh, right now. Okay, cool. Latin America is shaking me right now. Yeah. Uh, sleepy waves just to let you know after we did the Assange stream yesterday because someone came on and said what's going on Bolivia when they asked me I knew about what was going on the attempted coup but I hadn't heard that Morales had resigned yet right when I got off the stream I heard Morales has resigned I was following news all last night and I got up at three o'clock this morning to give a, one of our friends a ride to the airport she was flying out to India when I came back had a little bit of rest got up and still following news so I've been following news for a while shaking everyone up right um, it's I, I like all of I like comic books more so I have a whole bunch of these prints if they're just I don't know if they're uh, you know number prints prints whatever they are but to me I rather look at these guys more and for me i'm not i wasn't going to sell these frames i like these frames they are beautiful frames some of them are really big i have like i showed one before a couple of before where i have comic books other i have one that's bigger than this i have six comic books from 1952 all of them from ec comics and they're horror sci-fi and war comics and they're beautiful but i have to reframe them one of them has tilted a little bit I watched some of your mathematical videos I wonder do you have any thoughts on the P versus NP problem um, what's the P versus NP problem is this a probability we're talking about P versus NP uh, I don't know what the P versus NP problem is let me know um, and I'll, I'll like if it's something I know about we'll talk about it or I can look it up I've got a math exam tomorrow please help sure Lander what do you got mathematics comes first so if you got a question drop it we'll deal with it if I can help that is I'm glad I was able to catch the beginning of the stream but I must go to my world empires class nice see you later Chita. see you later cyanide hope you guys talk about amazing stuff I have a friend who was uh, staying in my house and brought some apple butter from a local farmers market holy moly i can't say i tried it before but i've been meaning to go watch your videos on how to make yeah twitching jason apple butter is amazing it's super delicious it's about the uh, arithmetic complexity polynomial versus non-deterministic polynomial double o or ox i i don't know this uh the issue involved with this but let me do a little search uh, search duck, duck, go. I would have to look this up I'm gonna bookmark this uh, and I'll try to look this up later if that's okay it's one of the uh, millennium problems the ones they give during the exam for the higher level mathematics simultaneous equations I want to look this up too you guys are dropping words I don't know <laughs> what is this I'm gonna look it up Lander I, I'm, I don't know what this is what this refers to some places uh, different parts of the world they call things different things right uh, 
in mathematics a set of simultaneous equations also known as systems of equations or an equation system is a finite set of equations for which common solutions are solved so we're talking about linear algebra system solving systems of equations is that it if that's the case then yeah we could do that for sure i can't do the partial derivative stuff uh, are we talking about just simple linear and non-linear equations for example for sure give us an example let's check it out Mathata is kind of hard for anyone without a huge amount of expertise to have an opinion on a, on any is it mask of raven mask of raven would know i would have to seriously look this up hello i'm new what's the topic of today topic of the day open discussion and if you got math questions if people have math questions we're going to deal with the mathematics or physics right so i'm the way it's set up basically i'm making myself available for a couple couple hours usually on a weekly basis to help people out with math or have a platform where we can talk about mathematics there are some people here in chat that are way more mathematically literate than i am they know their mathematics to a higher level than I am than I do so if a question pops up there's been cases where people in the chat have helped people out right so that's the topic of discussion for example for example Admic. <laughs> I don't think it's a quack it's a quite accessible one is it besides it can be reasoned about philosophically can it? Admic, how are you doing by the way? Hey Chicho. Ting, how's life? Any idea if a full on politics stream going to go on soon? Uh, I'm not I'm not bring, uh, bringing it up now, but I've got some questions on the upcoming UK elections. I'm currently got no idea how to vote. Uh, okay, Tink, tell you what, send me a reminder. Uh, I'm going to set one up this week. There's a lot to talk about in politics. It, I hadn't planned on doing a politics stream, current events, but we got to do. This stuff is... Uh, so I'll set one up this week. Uh, latest this uh, uh, this weekend, okay? Let me know, by the way, think, think about it. Let me know when would be good for you, what time. And keep in mind, I'm on west coast of Canada, okay? Uh, Lander will do this. Thanks for the example okay and um, we'll do this and then we'll do a triple one as well okay if you want and i'll give you a couple of links where i go through on how to do these problems after this you'll be set you'll you'll pass easy you should get an a easy peasy okay how does the swift banking system work across the world uh, right now oh swift banking what's it going <laughs> nice. uh, let's do that okay i'm gonna go when someone asks me about you, they have some idea how to solve it or want me to check their solution. I'm doing really well. Super busy, Admic says. I'll probably only be here a bit. No worries, Admic. Thanks for popping in. Uh, right now, for some reason, everybody seems to be on a crazy busy period. I might solve it one day, but not today. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. I don't know it. Uh, uh, OX. Not uh, Thursday in earlier in the day for you i'll drop in discord again tomorrow no worries dude okay tank if you can just do at chicho like uh, on discord uh, just tag me and mention that not thursday and early in the day and i'll set it up okay yo disco how are you doing maybe do like 8 p.m eastern during the week 8 p.m eastern during the week evenings is the uh east time is good so that would that wouldn't work out for tink uh, but we could do two sleepy waves uh there might be a need to do two current events streams maybe we do on friday and saturday or saturday and sunday boom 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 just talk about everything let's do a little, little bit of mathematics okay are you did you, are you a mathematician on that that's odd you know people asking you to review their stuff. 
she is and she's very 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 good as as is mask of raven okay just to let you know systems of linear equations by the way let me find you a couple of links of videos we've done already uh, i'm just going to do the speedy gonzalez style chicho uh recognize the pattern here's a video i put out let me make sure i find it okay check this out now this one will have this is asmr math video how to study tip number six recognize the problem remember the pattern right and this is this is hold on a second uh this go uh, calculate so you square 13 this one we can answer speedy gonzalez style you do this uh 13 squared minus 10 squared 10 squared 13 squared squared just means whatever it is times itself so it's going to be 13 times 13 13 times 13 minus 10 times 10 13 times 13 is 200 what is 13 times 13 10 times 13 is um 130 3 times 13 is uh 39 so 100 49 149 no it can't be my my simple math right now is way off so i'm just going to use this 13 times 13 169 49 jeebus beebus i knew that was wrong 169 minus 100 which is 100 right however i'm much less educated than Otmak, i believe uh we have a discord where can i share my solution um yeah, if you punch in Discord, here's Discord. Discord. Boop. That's the link to the Discord. No. <laughs> oh, no, you wrote a test, you got it wrong. <laughs> or something like that, I'm assuming. Let's do that uh, linear algebra. Doop, doop. Where are we? Where are we? Q, Y, uh, plus 2X equals what? Equals 7 and 4y i'm assuming 4y plus 6x plus 6x equals 21. my brain is a little mush right now because i haven't slept too long for so i'm gonna make some little silly mistakes i see same indeed we need another 69 did i write it down right 169 minus 100 <laughs> Oh, like, oh you that's what you wanted me to do i knew that was too easy that was perfect for my mindset right now but this is good too so check this out the link that i just gave you regarding how to study okay uh da, 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 da. if you go to uh syst if you also do a search under chicho systems of linear equations chicho linear let me see let me see this there we go and here is introduction graphing absolute value functions linear equations solving absolute value linear okay i'm not going to look for this oh systems of linear equations graphical representation and check this one out this one should also have some info that you like okay this was a sort of a tutoring session we had where we talk about what systems of linear equations means and representing it. Chicho, these are the recurring arguments. Let's check this out. What is this about? Oh, even more else. Sleepy waves, I'm gonna pass on this. We're gonna deal with this first, okay? So I'm gonna skip all the politics stuff. Let's deal with this guy, okay? So how do you solve system of linear equations? There's two main methods, but one of the things we need to do is talk about what these two equations mean. What do they want when they say solving this, right? Solve the system. And system, system of linear equations. Okay. So you get a question that says solve the system of linear equations and they give you two equations okay equation one equation two 
let's talk about what this means. What do they want you to do? Okay, so let's go generic for a second. Let's say you had a question saying solve the following system of linear equations. Let's assume it was y is equal to 2x plus 3, which is the same thing as this. I'm just rearranging it to get y by itself, right? We can do the same thing with this, right? We can go move the x over, the 2x over, and then divide by 2. So if we take this guy, 2y plus 2x is equal to 7. You move this guy over, it becomes negative 2x. So you got 2y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. Always write the x first. And then you divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So y is equal to negative 1. 2 over 2 is 1, right? So it's negative. Negative 1x plus 7 over 2. So you can rewrite this equation as y is equal to negative x plus 7 over 2, right? But let's go generic for a second. Let's say we have this equation and this equation. y is equal to x minus 1. Okay. And they say solve the system. So what you're really doing is this. You can graph this guy. It's an equation of a line. We've talked a lot about this. This is a generic equation of a line where you got y is equal to mx plus b, right? This is the y-intercept. This is the slope, right? So the y-intercept, the way you graph lines is you go to the y-intercept, which is 3, 1, 2, 3. It's where it cross those, crosses the y-axis, right? If I'm going too fast, by the way, let me know. Okay. It was, uh, who was it that asked this question? Uh, Lander. If I'm going too fast, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll pause, I explain further, right? But hopefully you already know this because you're in the section of mathematics where you're talking about solving systems in your equation. So you should already know how to graph a line, right? So we're graphing this line. Y-intercept is three, and the slope is rise over run, right? So slope M is equal to rise over run. That's what the slope means, right? So from the y-intercept, you go two up, and one over so that's equation one and whenever you're getting systems of equations number your graphs that way you know which one was what right so that's equation one and this one is the y-intercept is negative one and if there's no number in front of the x there is a number it's a one right so one and one you can write as one over one so from here you go up one and over one right so that would have up to we gotta make this here draw it like this i'm going to erase this line and put the slope on it better that way we'll see it crossing right because this is not to scale so you go up two over one so it would be like this right so that's equation one this is equation two right so when the question says solve this system of linear equations what they're asking for is, where do these two lines intersect? So you're looking for this point. You're looking for the x and the y value for where these two lines intersect. And what does that mean for these two lines to intersect? It means whatever point you get here, whatever the x and y values are, this point is on this graph as well as on this graph. So this point exists on both lines. That's where they cross, okay? That's what we're doing when they say solve a system of linear equations. One more generic stuff you need to know about this. Keep this in mind, right? When you're solving for a system of linear equations, when you're solving for a system of linear equations, there are three things that can happen, right? What can two lines do? So let's draw three graphs, right? Here's three graphs. Right. So in graph number one, if we have two lines, what can two lines do? 
Well, two lines can cross. <laughs> we drew it, right? So here's one line. Here's another line. So two lines can cross, right? And this would be their solution. What's the other thing two lines can do that where they don't cross, right? The second thing that can happen, right? If two lines are parallel, if two lines are parallel, they'll never cross, right? So that's another thing that can happen. So you can have two parallel lines. They'll never cross. If they never cross, there's no solution. So this one will never have a solution. What does that mean for it to never have a solution? It means that there are no points X and Y that are on this line that are also on this line. That's what that means, right? If two lines cross, then this point here, the X and the Y, is both on this line and on this line. If there's no solution, if two lines are parallel, there is no point that can be both on this line and on this line, right? So this one has no solution, no solution, right? And if two lines are parallel, when will, when, when will they be parallel? What decides if two lines are parallel? What decides if what decides if two lines are parallel if they have the same slope? So you get no solutions when you have the same slopes. Oops, same slope, but they have different y-intercepts, right? Different y-intercept. Right? So that's one thing that can happen. No solution. For the solution, it's easy if they have the same slope. Solution. Solution is x and y. And the only time you can ever get a solution with two lines crossing each other, have a solution, one solution, is if they have different slopes, right? Different slopes. Different slopes. So if two lines have different slopes, they'll cross. Twitching Jason, yeah, same slope, <laughs> right? So same slope. But important, different y-intercept. Why is that the case? Well, what's the third thing that can happen with two lines? Well, two lines, if they're parallel, if you bring them together, they're going to be on top of each other. So two lines can be on top of each other as well, right? So you could have one line, and then the other line just goes on top of it, right? So it's basically the same line written with a multiple factor. It's that's all it is it's got a GCF okay so two lines can be on top of each other if two lines are on top of each other then every point on the first line is also on the second line right it's not like there's only one solution only one point they have in common all their points are in common a line has an infinite number of points so this thing has infinite solutions infinite solutions which basically means it's the same line if it's the same line then it has to have the same slope same slope and the same y-intercept right? if it's the same line it'll have the same slope and the same y-intercept which is basically y is equal to mx plus b this is the equation of the line, right? So if they have this, if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, they got an infinite number of solutions because they're the same line. If they have the same slope and different y-intercept, you're here. That means no solution, right? And if they have the, if they have different slopes, that's all required. They have to have different slopes, then you have one solution. Okay, my teacher will explain more about math vectors, math vectors tomorrow. This helps. Okay, awesome. I'm glad it's going to help, ghost. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So, okay. Does that make sense? So whenever you're looking at a system of linear equations, when they ask you, can you solve it? You're trying to find out 
which one of these it is. If there is a solution, if there is no solution, if there's an infinite number of solutions, which means they're the same line, right? So that's what we're trying to find out, right? So what we do is we're going to try to solve this. Keep this in mind. This is important. This is the what basically is going to happen. One of these three cases is this. It has to be all linear systems. If you're given any two linear systems and linear means line, right? L I N E is a line. So linear system means two lines or more, two or more, right? System could be more than two lines, right? If you get more than two lines, just a side note while we're on it, let's assume there's a third line, right? So this was line one, this was line two. Let's assume they give you a third line. Let's say this, this line here, right? This is line three. They can ask you what the intersection of all these three points is, right? They could ask you what the area in this triangle is, right? You could have four lines or more, right? They could give you another line here and say, oh, there's another parallel line here. And then they would ask you, what's the intersection of all these lines? There would be four points. And then they're going to ask you, what's the area here, right? So a system of linear equations means there's a bunch of equations that are lines and they're well, linear means lines. There's a bunch of equations you're going to solve. And they could give you more than just linear systems. They could give you quadratic systems. They could make this a squared, right? So you could have here, you could have a line intersecting with a parabola. And you find those two points. Okay. We'll get into those later. Okay. Same concept in a group of X. Yeah, it's the same concept, ghost same deal with xyz xyz would be we'll do an xyz the link that i gave at the beginning of this uh, with the how to study video where it's titled uh, recognize the problem remember the pattern there's a xyz there's three equations that you need to solve with, for three variables and always keep this in mind if you're solving for one variable you need one equation if you're solving for two variables, you need two equations, three variables, three equations, four variables, four equations. Bah, 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 bah. Right. Let's solve this. Now, there's two ways of solving this. One of them is substitution. Substitution. And the other method is elimination. Elimination. If I'm misspelling things, apologies, I misspell things. Okay. Can you show how to uh, divide by zero? I will not take undefined for an answer. Olive. Okay, we're going to do a little deviation. Ready? Olive. Dividing by zero. Think about this. And undefined is, uh, is a funny term. Okay. Check this out if you want to visualize what dividing by zero is. What's one divided by one? One. What's one divided by 10? 0 0.1. What's one divided by 100? 0 0.01. By the way, the mathematicians are, you guys are going to hate me for this. I put out a video for this. If you do Chicho zero, the fourth video or third video I ever put out regarding mathematics is this. It's short it's quick it's a trick it's a it's a visualization technique but i had a lot of math people comment on that video saying this is not correct because you can't do cross multiplication with infinity because infinity is not a number and stuff like this this is just for explaining how you can visualize what's taking place right one divided by 100 is this one divided by 1000 is 0 0.001 right so if you divide by a really big number, you're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller numbers, right, Olive? So what's 1 divided by 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, This thing is approximately 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
what if you divide it by one divided by going on forever to infinity right the biggest number you can imagine that you can't imagine because it's infinity right just well that is because you can't really divide by infinity you can close 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 close, 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 close. you're gonna get zero one divided by the biggest number you can think of is approximately equal to zero now there's something called a simple way to do math where if you have one fraction equals another fraction you can cross multiply cross multiplication take the bottom here multiply it there take the bottom there multiply it there right the other way you can think about it is you can switch positions right this guy can come here that guy can go there right reasonable now this thing this is the part where mathematicians will freak out they go no don't do it don't do it don't chicho you just did calculus <laughs> we're taking the limit right so what you can do here is you can't really do this right but just imagine if you use this technique just to cross multiply and this would be one right so this guy can go there and that guy can go here so one divided by zero is infinity right now you have to take a side step here and go one is equal to zero times infinity which isn't true it isn't true but this is a good visualization that's the reason it's undefined it's infinity and one thing that i do personally i take a look at infinity in two different ways you can think about infinity as counting to infinity accounting infinity Anna, how are you doing so just imagine starting at one going one two three two, 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 counting forever right you can imagine that right so this is counting right the other one is the universe explodes universe explodes right this is visualizing the counting but you can never get down to it because if you divide by zero the universe explodes okay. i'm sorry one divided by zero is undefined <laughs> long story short And if you want here, this is the video we put out. Is the set of real numbers? Is in the set of real numbers? In the set of real. Numbers. I think in any number you can't divide by zero. Any set, Admic or Mask of Raymond might correct me on that. This is a blast from the past. I'm going to link you to. <laughs> this is a blast from the past. This this video I put out in 2007. Okay. 2007. Math. I my math bad. Divide by zero equals universal. It works for me. Basically, it universe explodes. It's the one limitation we have in mathematics, all of. Right? Now take a look at this. Solving the system of linear equations. Could you define it on the Riemann sphere? Riemann, uh, Riemann, Riemann sphere? I think I was in fourth grade in 2007. <laughs> I was making math videos on me. So we're going to solve the system of linear equations, right? What is it solving system of linear equations? Don't forget, you're looking at two lines, two or more lines, and you're trying to find out if they cross, if they're parallel, or if they're on top of each other there's an infinite number of solutions to solve this here let me rewrite this again let me kill this guy so we don't get confused right let's assume they give it to you like this they say solve the system two ways you can do it you can use substitution x right, says x approaches zero you can get it get any infinity yeah any infinity positive negative I'm not sure what the other ones would be right so we can use substitution or elimination I usually like teaching substitution first the reason I like teaching substitution first is because people can visualize it right you get a graph out of it so if you're gonna do substitution you can rewrite and a lot of places a lot of 
schools and students that I met, usually the teachers say, rewrite this one in terms of X or Y and then substitute it in here and solve for it, right? I teach it a different way. I teach it saying, in general, if you're going to use one method, rewrite everything in terms of Y equals MX plus B. So we're going to take this guy here. We'll do it again. It was Y. Bring that over. So we have 2Y is equal to negative 2X plus 7 and then divide by 2 divide by 2 so y is equal to oops y is equal to negative 1x hopefully that's big enough so equation 1 turns into y is equal to negative x plus 7 over 2 equation 2 if we're going to rewrite this substitution easy to remember easy to remember and you can actually graph it and look at it and uh, sort of confirm if you got the right answer all right let's rewrite this one equation two i'm going to rewrite it here so we don't we save a little bit of space equation two was four y plus six x is equal to 21 move the x over so four y is equal to negative six x plus 21 divide by four divide by four divide by four so equation two becomes y is equal to six over four is three over two negative three over two x 21 divided by 4. We can't really simplify that. Right? 21 divided by 4. Now, for substitution, this is what I tell my students. You get an equation like this, rewrite both of them in terms of y equals mx plus b. Why are we doing this, rewriting them this way? Because we can graph them and get an idea where the solution should be before we actually solve for the solution, right? So let's graph these. If we're going to graph these, all you need is a very basic graph, right? 7 over 2 is 7 divided by 2, which is 3 and a half. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3 and a half, right? And then from 3 and a half, you go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. Here's equation 1. Equation 2 is 21 divided by 4. 21 divided by 4 is 5 and a quarter, right? 4 goes into 25 times and you got a quarter left over. 5 and a quarter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a quarter. And then from here, you go down 3 and over 2. So 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2. We get this. Okay, here's equation 2. So according to our hokey pokey graph, right? If I had more room, I'd draw it bigger and nicer and try to make it to scale. But I just want to get an idea if the lines are going to cross over here, over here, over here, over here. So we're closer to here. I'm not sure if we're going to be in the first quadrant or second quadrant because my scale factor is off. It's not to scale, right? We got an idea where the solution should be. Here's the way we do it. Set y1 equal to y2, right? Remember what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to find out if two lines cross, if two lines are parallel, or if two lines are on top of each other, right? If you set y1 equal to y2, then what you're saying is you're trying to make sure that or set both of these y's to be the same. Because if there is a solution, then both these y's are the same. If there is no solution, the things aren't going to work out. We already know there's going to be a solution because they have different slopes, right? Remember the three scenarios we had? Different slopes gives you this. So these guys have different slopes. So we know we're one of these guys. We know there's a solution. If there's a solution here, the x and the y, then they're both the y's are the same and both the x's are the same. We're trying to find out what they are. So we're just going to force it for them to be the same. So you're just going to set this equal to this. So negative x plus 7 over 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 x plus 21 over 4. What that does is says, hey, if the y's are the same, what's the x going to be? Boop. We got now one equation with one variable. We can solve for this. Okay. Parallel by being wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. 
There's a lot of conversation going on. I've missed this. So I'm going to continue with this, right? So check this out. How are you going to solve for this? Well, the best thing to do is get rid of your fractions. They get in the way a little bit, right? So what you can do is multiply the whole equation by the common denominator, which is 4. So 4 multiplies this, 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 this. Negative x times 4 is negative 4x. 7 over 2 times 4. 2 goes into 4 twice, so 2 multiplies. This is 14 is equal to. 2 goes into 4 twice, so 2 multiplies. This is negative 6x plus 4 kills 4, 21. Now all we've got to do is just solve for x. We bring the x's to one side and numbers to the other side. So this guy comes over here becomes plus 6x. So we've got 2x is equal to 14 comes over, becomes minus 14. 21 minus 14 is, well, 7. That's cool. All right? So divide by 2, divide by 2. So x is equal to 7 over 2. Hopefully that's still on the board. Let me make sure we're still there. Yeah. So that's still showing. So that's cool. Okay. So we found the x value. So we just found the x value. So what is it that we just found? Here's what we found. We found this point to be 7 over 2, but we still have to find the y, right? How are we going to find the y value? We've got two equations that we can substitute this x in to find the y. So let me erase this side. And this isn't elimination yet, right? We're still continuing with the substitution. So what we're going to do is come back here, sub x is equal to 7 over 2 into y1 and or y2. If you sub it into one of them, whatever y result you get is this value here the y value where they cross. If you sub it into both of them and solve for both of them, you just get getting confirmation. If you get the same answer, you know you've done the problem accurately, correctly. Okay. If you get different y values, you did something wrong. So it's a great check. So let's plug this in. x is equal to 7 over 2 into y1. Right? So y1 is equal to negative 7 over 2 plus 7 over 2. That's just going to be 0. Oh, look, our graph wasn't that bad. We're actually on the line, right? So 0. So according to plugging into y1, it's 0. Cool. So 7 over 2 and 0. Now, if we're writing a test, if we're crunched on time, you move on to the next question. As long as you have faith, trust in your math abilities, right? If you want to spend a few seconds to confirm your answer to make sure you got this question right plug x is equal to 7 over 2 in number 2 as well so this is going to be negative 3 over 2 times 7 over 2 plus 21 over 4 top multiplies top bottom multiplies bottom negative 3 times 7 is negative 21 2 times 2 is 4 plus 21 over 4 that's equal to 0 as well it checks out we know you did this question right. There's no, the probability of you doing it wrong if you, these two confirm is like 0 0.001, right? It's, it's, it's almost guaranteed that you got full marks for this question if you plug in them into both y1 and y2 and you get the right answer. Okay. I hope that helps. I hope it's not too messy learning substitution let's do elimination okay elimination basically works like this what you're trying to do is because you have two equations and you got two variables what you want to do is kill one of the variables get rid of one of the variables that way you only have one variable left and you can solve it and back substitute it in right so you can take both equations. You don't have to rewrite them unless you want to graph them, check them, right? But I wouldn't rewrite them. This is exactly the way you want to deal with them if it's elimination. So what you can do is go, okay, you know what? You have to make a decision if you want to eliminate the Y or the X. It doesn't make a difference. 
for us they're both easy <laughs> right so let's say we're going to eliminate the y first right if you're going to eliminate the y equation two is this 4y plus 6x is equal to 21. so you want to add or subtract these equations in a way where you kill the y well this one is 2y plus 2x is equal to 7. if you put 2y plus 2x is equal to 7 they're not going to kill each other if you add or subtract them so what i'm going to do is i want to take equation one whoop, and before i write it down write it down here I'm going to multiply it by, if we're going to kill the y's, this is 4y, I'm going to multiply this equation by negative 2. Okay, so negative 2 multiplies this, this, and this, and you can do that, right? Because an equal sign says you can do anything on one side of the equation if you do it to the other side of the equation, and that's exactly what we're doing. So we're going to multiply this equation by negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2 times 2y is negative, two, negative 4y, negative 2 times negative uh, negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. the reason i multiplied by negative is because i like adding i don't like subtracting because subtracting you can get double negatives and it becomes a pain in the ass and stuff like that right so you're going to go 4y plus negative 4y they kill each other 6x plus negative 4x is 2x 21 plus negative 14 is 7, and then divide by 2, divide by 2, so x is equal to 7 over 2. That's exactly the same answer we got previously, right? This looks easier, doesn't it? Now how are you going to find the y? Easy. Plug it into the first equation or second equation. Plug the x in here or here, and then solve for the y. Oh, one, how are you doing? One function, FN. <laughs> I can't forget how to pronounce the name. <laughs> it's easy, right, ghost? So let's take x, let's plug sub x is equal to 7 over 2 into y1. Over here, you're going to go 2y plus 2 times 7 over 2 is equal to 7. Well, multiplying fraction, 2 times 7 over 2. 2 kills 2, it's just 7, right? So that kills that, so that's 7. 2y plus 7 is equal to 7. Move the 7 over, minus 7. 2y is equal to 0, 7 minus 7 is 0. Divide by 2, divide by 2, y is equal to 0, which is exactly the same answer we got before, right? So the solution to this is x is equal to 7, over 2 and the y is 0 that's where they cross okay i hope that's clear here's something that bugs me it is said that the universe is infinite yet it is also said that it uh, it perpetually expands all of we do, we can't really assume the universe is infinite uh, and if the universe is everything how can it expand for something to get bigger it has to have something to grow within the confines of hence the space that the universe does not yet occupy must be something other than everything and there's nothing other than everything therefore the universe cannot be infinite for it expands cannot expand for it is okay let's address that all because this is the, what you're talking about is something that uh, one of the questions that i used to have when i grew and I, it's still the boundaries is incredible right is this uh, simultaneous equations i guess so simultaneous equations system of linear equations where are you guys from by the way where you're calling it simultaneous equations in canada we call it systems of equations don't know the answer sometimes we don't know it's infinite yeah dante uh, is stating it too we don't know if it's infinite let me are you guys okay with this i hope so I'm just going to step here so I'm not standing sideways. It cracks the back a little bit. Oh, you're a Scotland. So they call it, you call it simultaneous equations. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's very cool. So UK, it must be all of UK that you call it simultaneous equations, not just Scotland, right? I'm doing recurrence relations and polynomials in math right now recurrence relations i don't know what recurrence relations is 
equation systems you guys call it goes i mean as far as i understand the physics the universe expanding means creating space itself not growing into space exactly dante right but if it's not infinite what else is there than the universe here's the kicker okay olive check this out how am i gonna say this so it's coherent i haven't I haven't uh, ranted about this for a while right let me know when i can ask political questions <laughs> let's leave your waves you can drop it we're done with this one but i'm gonna cover uh like recurrence relations is stuff like this un plus one equals one plus 1.4 un plus two is un the variable you're using oh you're talking about uh sequences and series is that what it is fn sequences and series 1.4 un plus two is that it no it's not that's just maybe i don't know uh, i don't know i don't know uh unless you un is you on a function function plus one is fairly advanced math is it what grade level uh, and in, in in terms of the universe okay let me before i lose my track of thought so the one thing that links us uh yeah ghost that's what it, i wanted to know what is un i don't know what un is i think that's supposed to be a function a function plus one is equal to 1.4 of the function plus two maybe i just want to understand this reoccurring argument that keeps popping up with what's happening in bolivia emo more or less had uh changed bolivia's constitution to enable him to run for this election secondly the result of this election did not give morales a sufficient wide margin uh, over his rival Maso to claim outright victory on the bolivian constitution uh sleepy ways okay let's uh, united nation <laughs> they all those cracking a joke <laughs> that's good i like it ghost is laughing uh so sleepy ways just regarding bolivia just because it's extremely important i don't know what grade level is okay um you, bolivian constitution said two-term presidency first of all two-term presidency is ridiculous because that that is what capitalism feeds on right change capitalism is not really about solving any solutions it's about moving problems around and constantly recycling things so there's a little bit of chaos and there's the election cycle constantly happening and whatnot right so two-term presidency as far as i'm concerned is ridiculous right uh if someone is amazing you can vote them in multiple times if someone's horrendous you can vote them out right why should an amazing uh a person that you trust in not you know if you choose to be governed if you person you trust in should not be allowed to vote but it had a two term limit right morales ran for a third term he got elected he wanted to run for the fourth term and there were some people in the opposition saying no no you can't do it you can't do it so they held a referendum from what i understand referendum came out no you can't run for a fourth term so he took this to the supreme court and the supreme court said you can run for the fourth term if you want because he argued from what i understand that it went against his rights for him to be allowed to run for the leader of the country right so he went to the supreme court the supreme court gave him the stamp of go ahead to run again he ran again and in the first round of voting right he did get more than 10 percent of the votes okay that's where the trend was going if you go to by the way twitching jason or sleepy waves sorry sleepy waves if you go to our discord page in the politics folder uh look at the democracy now link i provided look at uh, uh some of the other stuff that i uh, provided that goes through the, all this the information right so in the first round he did get more than 10 percent. he was elected right and then we got the chaos taking place right there's a faction that didn't want him to get elected just like there's a faction that wanted bolsonaro in brazil or Pinochet and his regime in Chile or Guido what was that schmuck's name in Venezuela that Western governments some Western governments have 
<laughs> saying that this person is a leader of the country where this person wasn't even running for the leadership of the country is crazy right so sleepy waves uh, that's the best i can do right now uh just because of the math form we can't dig into the articles okay we will this weekend It'll, we'll probably do two political streams in a row okay uh i'm 16 but it's pretty advanced for my age x score n plus one yeah it's got to be mask of raven i might be able to help it must be sequence series i think that's what it is right uh it means that uh what follows is a subscript yeah da, 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 da. oh man i panicked i was looking for what i said or asked <laughs> was that what was twitching jason what did you say you trust democracy now as a source uh, uh sleepy waves not on everything and it's not democracy now that i trust it's the person they interviewed if you look it's not amy goodman or the other people they're biased right but it's the people they're interviewing and sometimes the people they're interviewing are garbage sometimes the people they're interviewing are legit right this person that they're interviewing is legit and he lays it out really well so it's not the platform of democracy now it's this person that they're interviewing i haven't had time to find any other interviews of this guy regarding the coup that's happening right now but i followed this guy for a while he's 100 percent legit hannah thank you for the bits okay uh there are other in from other links i provided in politics uh regarding that you don't have to trust anyone to realize that the OAS narrative is BS. Exactly. The Organization of American um, OAC, isn't it? Countries or states or whatever it is. 60% uh, funded by the United States. It's like a trusting NATO. <laughs> who, who thinks NATO is a force for good? Like, really? Like that's where they get their money they're gonna do whatever the united states tells them to do right it's crazy organization of american states yeah organization of american states okay what do they do they take money from the united states to go around the americas and create chaos they support the coup in haiti right <laughs> look at haiti they are the ones who said the election was fraudulent yeah but they provided no evidence not that i've seen anyway over the last i don't know i started looking into the oac stuff since last night so i'm a little sleep deprived and information overloaded right um yeah going back to the mathematics it's basically this uh x n plus one is equal to what at the mask of raven right 1.4 xn um, yeah plus two right so let's just talk about what this means right uh, what the hell are those tet mountains they are dating mountains <laughs> i love it that you're here new on twitch i had to figure out what these things were uh they're bits they're little tokens like basically money that um uh, that's being sent my way so each one is like i forgot what they are they're like a penny or something right like a hundred equals a dollar uh right so it's just a way of supporting yeah one bit equals one cent so it's a fun way of uh, doing stuff although it's just it's twitch right and appreciate it right i do appreciate it it's fantastic and it does it's basically uh, you know i have a patreon page and i have a uh you know people can donate directly and there's you know ad revenue coming in from youtube for for now anyway we'll see where that goes right we don't get knocked off of youtube so it's basically different platforms providing funding coming in right uh support creators and stuff bits is a little capitalism bits is a little capitalism the subscript yeah the subscripts are in the naturals thanks mask of raven so the ends these guys 
if you remember our real number set real number set they have to be these are irrational numbers rational oops rational numbers integers whole numbers and natural numbers what this means the ends can only be one two three four five six sequentially up right the co coefficients don't need to be in the natural so yeah the coefficients don't um i will go to sleep good night everyone good night uh oh x4 good night good night thank you for popping in thank you for the uh for the sub and the follow and the questions and participating right i hope you have sweet sweet dreams uh, so take a look at this basically n uh the way you write it is you say n oops n is the element oh i did it again n is the element uh, n is the element of the natural numbers so it belongs to this number set one two three dot 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 it can only be positive natural numbers whole numbers right and what it means is this and this is the place where they are the subscripts are in the neutral because we're just using them uh, to label terms and it's hard to do that in other number sets yeah so basically what this means n plus one and n is if people were lined up here here's a club where people want to go in right this goes on forever if this person is standing in the n position then this person is in the n plus one position this person is in the n minus one position this person is in the n minus two position next person would be in the n plus two position right it's just the position where they are okay so this equation states this and obviously we're not talking about people waiting in a lineup to go inside a club we're talking about a set of numbers that follow a particular pattern right so you go like this and they say if this is you know basically this equation says this if you're trying to find the next number take the previous number multiply it by 1.4 and add 2 okay so this is the n value here the position is 1 2 3 4 5 6 right over here in this lineup this would be n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 this person here let me write it here so it's clear this is the first person in line the second person third fourth fifth and so on right the number sequence works the same n means what position they are right so this equation says this if we're looking for this number x n plus 1 whatever that number is right this would be the fourth number if you're looking for the fourth number then take the third number x3 at oops I shouldn't put that there jeez here's x3 here's x2 here's x1 here's x5 here's x6 so if you're trying to find x4 take this number multiply it by 1.4 and add 2 that's what that means okay if you're trying to find this number take this number multiply it by 1.4 and add 2 that gives you x5 okay that's what the terminology means and these are in the um in the category of sequence series and algebraic expressions and stuff where you get n is equal to one to i don't know uh, 10 of whatever it is uh, this one i can't do it in my head but uh, whatever 2x and you put a n here or something like this The subscripts of the naturals because uh, we're just using them to the label term and it's hard to do that with uh, other number terms uh, for example it'd be weird to refer to the uh, negative two term of the four yeah uh, hold on you never 
got to explain the universe. Oh, wait, that's right. I never got there. Sorry. Sorry, Olive. I go on tangents a lot. Uh, I forget my train of thought every now and then, right? If we're going hardcore uh, universe, it will still have to expand within something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's talk about this. Uh, you create more of something. Uh, it uh, occupies a bigger space. And I don't know. Uh, it should be confusing. Uh, hey, what's up, buddy? Rambo, how you doing? How's life? I think you're in Ontario or something, east coast of Canada, uh, or central Canada. Did you watch the last uh, term? No, buddy, I ain't gonna touch that. The, the, like, uh, it, I like almost guaranteed it's gonna be crap, right? Are natural numbers and integers uh, the same? Uh, no, integers can be negative as well, right? Little. Uh, I miss you, nice. Integers can be negative as well. So natural numbers are one, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot. And then you include zero, that becomes whole numbers, right? And then if you start taking negative one, negative two, negative three, and these guys all of a sudden kick the whole number set to the integer realm. Stop distracting George <laughs> Universe time. Okay, let's talk about the universe. Now, here's the first olive. Here's the first thing about the universe that made me think question. Start really thinking about what I was seeing, right? And I'll, I'll tell you the story of it. What the hell are you writing on the blackboard? Uh, mathematics and people in a lineup going to a club. So just imagine little Chicho in in high school right in grade 11 taking earth sciences right and earth sciences if you get the chance if you're in school take an earth science class your coordinate grid and you can imagine the grid is finite yeah how would you be able to tell the difference between the grid growing and the distance between points and oh i gotta read this imagine you're on a coordinate grid and even uh, and even imagine the grid is finite how would you be able to tell the difference between the grid growing and the distance between points on the grid growing yeah so check this out let me draw this so keep this in mind as well since mask of a raven brought it up take a look at this so just imagine this is our grid all of there's more to this i'll tell you the chicho high school story in a second okay so here's our grid right let's assume we got one two three one two three one two three one I'm gonna try to make this as to scale as possible right three let's assume this is olive olive right you're standing there right this is our universe now what we're going to do, we're going to take this, stretch it this way and stretch it that way. Remember, we're not adding. We're just stretching, right? So we grab this. Here's a crappy drawing. One, two, three, four, five fingers, right? We grab this and we pull this apart and we pull this apart, right? Oops. So our grid now is this, right? Let's draw it again. And this was one. Let's assume we're going to expand it to two. Each one is, these guys are two. We're up here. You, Olive, are now over here, right? So you've moved over. The universe has grown, expanded, right? Has it created additional space? We don't know, right? The space is getting further apart. It's creating space here. But what's the boundary doing? Right? Is there is, is is does the boundary even have a meaning? Exactly a grid, but uh, it's just 
and then uh, yeah for sure this is magic we're not on a flat earth right or flat anything like there's the third dimension here and there's time and whatnot right as far as we know so what's happening is it's a balloon they call it you know balloon expanding okay now let me it looks like uh, all space is expanding evenly in the second drawing instead of being uh, stretched uh, does it yeah it, and it should be sort of ex well, is it expanding even we don't know uh, without da, 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 da. Uh, no clue I'm not so super into physics uh, how many dimensions uh, ghosts as far as I know the, the we well uh, string theory says 11 dimensions with m theory being 11 or 10 with m3 being 11 but we're existing in basically uh, four dimensions right x y z and time so here's a story where uh my century yeah we can't link anything uh ghost it should technically be expanding evenly at any any given time if you follow certain models so evenly at any given time okay uh, so here's me okay story about the first time that really a seed was planted so there is an end of space there is an end of space right that's the key here's the story check this out I'm in grade 11 taking earth sciences I have a fantastic teacher you are going to start streaming more are you going to Hannah uh, yes and no we'll talk about it curves around right it possibly madness so again if you get the opportunity to take a earth science class take it the reason i got into geophysics was because of the this teacher right what's outside of space what mm, all of great questions so so one of our classes the teacher says okay we're gonna go look at the stars we're gonna set up a telescope in the school parking lot or in the school field but it's going to be at night time and we do it in the winter because winter sky is cleaner than summer sky because it's higher um, higher pressure colder colder air is easier to look through then you get less distortion and whatnot right so the class meets the teacher in the field at night time and he's got his huge telescope right and he's showing us the stars and stuff like this and he goes think about this he asks us the question is the universe infinite okay if the universe is infinite and we've been here for an infinite amount of time right which we have and there's supposed to be an age to the universe yeah. here's one place where infinity made me think okay this is a very rudimentary method but think about this here we are right looking into the night sky some of these things are stars some of them are galaxies some of them are clusters some of them are whatever right so we're looking into the sky at nighttime and if you're living away from the city yeah approximately 14 billion years right if we're living away from the city there's less light pollution you'll see more stars if you're close to the city you'll see less stars right so let's assume you've gone someplace where you don't get very much light pollution you're seeing a lot of stars you can actually see the milky way band right it'd be amazing right you look into the night sky now if the universe was infinite and it was here for an infinite amount of time what the infinity would mean could mean would be this if this went on forever and we were here for an infinite amount of time because the light takes a certain number of years to reach our eyes right reach us then there would be stars galaxies clusters that the light hadn't reached us yet but if the inf universe is infinite infinity means that for as many galaxies stars uh, stars no because stars within a galaxy but galaxies and clusters and whatever else out there that there is after this there will be before this so there would be more of these coming in 
right? If space was infinite and we've been here for an infinite amount of time, so that means if that was the case, the night sky wouldn't be dark, it would be white, right? We would just see a white night sky because there'd be infinite amount of light, stars and galaxies, not stars again, galaxies and clusters coming to us so the night sky would be white. So because the night sky is dark with little dots all over it, we know we haven't been here for an infinite amount of time, okay? So how long have we been here? We've been here for approximately, well, 13.8 billion years or 6 billion years. Let's call this approximately 14 billion years, right? 14 billion years. Okay. So if time started, the clock started 14 billion years ago, what was there before 14 billion years? The theory is this, right? The theory is that there was only energy. Okay, because you can't create or um, destroy energy, it's just energy just gets transformed, right? There was just energy. The theory is that there was just energy, and something happened that all that energy became mass instantly, right? Now, the physics that we know is able to take us back to a few milliseconds before the Big Bang. <laughs> before the big bang right we don't know what happens at the fractions of seconds when the big bang occurred the physics falls apart but as soon as there is mass we can do our general physics quantum mechanics takes us pre that but even not so right so the whole concept is there is energy the energy at some point something some kind of catalyst went mass boom all right and all the mass was created all the mass in the universe just came to be and supposedly the mass just came to be and because of an explosion they call it an explosion everything started expanding right so our grid if we're just looking at two dimensions started off at a pinpoint and went boom, right and just kept on expanding right and because mass has gravity, right? Because mass has gravity, certain clusters, certain particles started clunking together, getting together. Certain things hit each other, bump, 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 bump. And we started creating stars and star planets and this and that and all the things that we see in the celestial sky, I guess you call it, or the cosmos. Everything started occurring right and sometimes the masses of things got together they start pounding together the gravity was so strong that created stars and different sizes of things and whatnot right so that's what we know where we think we know anyway and keep in mind that 90 to 95 percent of the mass of the universe is not accounted for we don't know where it is or what it is according to the rate at which things are expanding and there's a theory that there was anyway, there was a theory that, you know, uh, or the question that was posed, is the universe stagnant? Did it reach a certain point and didn't grow anymore? Or is it expanding or is it shrinking? Right. If it's expanding, it implies that the universe is going to burn out at some point because all stars and everything has a lifespan. Right. So they're going to burn out. It's going to be a dark, empty universe at some point. The other theory was it's going to expand, collapse in on itself and then poof, blow up again right every few billion years okay right now the dominant theory i believe is the universe is expanding because of the, of the um, redshift effect the big bang like when my boss dropped this wall quantum mechanics is currently the closest we can get chemistry and physics acts totally differently on that small of scale yeah specter tv so we need a new field of study to understand what was before and what is beyond exactly because if this is expanding this is our universe right what's here what are we expanding into 
right? Before the universe was created, God created the following three things. He's thrown the water and Dante's laughing. God says, we have created the universe out of nothing. Uh, and there's different theories. Some people don't agree with this. Some people think, uh, oops, some people uh, like Terrence McKenna, uh, and I have tremendous respect for Terrence McKenna, not that I agree with everything he says. He says there's more, you have to have more faith to believe in the Big Bang than you have to believe in a higher being, right? Heat death, rubber band theory, uh, like we're in a uh, breathing thing. That's a neat concept, neat concept indeed. What happens when light from stars, let's say 20 billion light years away, is infinitely red shifted? Now the red shift stuff uh, basically means if we're here, let me erase this. I feel like I'm being converted, stop it. <laughs> I, I, you don't have to believe in a God or religion to you know just because we don't know you don't have to say oh it's a higher being created it that's that's like anybody that watches magic uh, tricks says oh this must be a higher being doing this right or sees technology they've never seen before they go oh this is a higher being science fiction has dealt with like countless times right countless times if we went back in time right now some of the technology if we could take it back with us people would put us on a pedestal and say we're gods are we gods because we have a computer and certain tribes don't but what is nothing what is nothing from what i know the big big three theories to the end of the universe are the big crunch the big rip and the heat death is that what they're called or the big freeze the big freeze is the expanding forever right the big bang was not just an explosion it has a perfect order and by the way uh, one of the things regarding the big bang is related to black holes people say there are black holes well there are black holes right people say that black holes if there are black holes there has to be white holes right where universes are created so just like places where matter gets sucked in light cannot escape into a solid entity and black holes of a lifespan right there's also white holes where they spew out matter right religion is was used as a tool to control the growing mass of humans yes i said it why is it so hard to accept uh the fact that there is a god uh is, is there other other beings that created us possibly would i call them gods i don't think so right uh would i call them other entities possibly uh rambo for example in the realm of entheogens right if you look at shamanistic history it predates all religions all religions right and a lot of that knowledge because of religion and centralized power and all this crap right was either forbidden or destroyed right so just because we don't know it doesn't mean we have to say god some people like to use the word god as a general thing but to me it has certain meanings i guess i have to leave for work but but wish i could stick around for this one loving this session much love all much love magnus thanks for sticking around have fun at work hope it goes well see heat death and big freeze are the synonyms okay because it doesn't make sense all of says god's power is beyond our imagination uh, a lot of people would say that about technology right just because we don't know how certain things work throughout human history we've known that people say oh these these creatures are divine right divine really about to hop off chicho great chat glad i was able to drop in i uh, drop by i'll keep an eye out for your upcoming streams hope everyone has a nice day you too twitching jason you too thanks for sticking around smoke some dmt 
and you can enter another dimension, parallel universe, spirit worlds. You cannot explain everything by accident. Uh, no, I didn't say that, Rambo. No, I don't think so. It doesn't necessarily have to be an accident. It could be by design, according to it. I mean, there's a mathematics in our universe. Like, really, like the mathematics we know right now, these who we are on this little, little, little dot floating in space that is one point uh, not one 14 point whatever billion years or 14 billion years approximately we we have been able to come up with a language called mathematics that explains so much of the universe our physical reality that is unbelievable as well us these little little tiny tiny things that have a lifespan of a few million years at best right floating through a universe that is 14 billion years that we don't know where it came from have been able to consume certain entheogens and figure out possibly the origin of the universe right no one said it's by accident you'll f you're free to send your proof of god's existence to every science journal. my proof is the Quran. what proof is that i feel like by the way rambo there's a the number 19 appears in the Quran a lot right there's a mathematics to a lot of spiritual text now what came first the mathematics that the text is based on or the text that projects the mathematics and how many iterations and translations and filtering and censoring that all those texts go through before it got to us that we're reading right now, right? I feel like Rambo is hijacking. Yeah, we've dealt with it enough, I think. It's a valid conversation. It is valid, but I think we've dealt with it enough. It's not uh, discussing anything radical. A lot of people think that way. A lot do. Chicho can shut down this discussion anytime it's up to him no i think it's it's legit it's, it is legit but beliefs are things that you cannot uh especially beliefs in things that uh, we haven't found experimentation to to conduct to be able to get any data not that science is the absolute of things right but we have to also look at look back at human history and realize because some people s sit down and say oh this text is holy or this text is absolute right but then they don't go hey wait a second this text looked a little different a <laughs> few centuries ago or a few decades ago what's the interpretation here on at the least certain words have been replaced right but those words that were replaced had possibly a different meaning different connotation different different understanding than they do now take a look at the way language is being uh hijacked and used as a control mechanism right now it's huge like right now is unbelievable if you've been online for so long because certain words have lost their meaning certain words have been introduced that have a totally unique meaning right well if people think that hasn't occurred throughout human history right then you got to be out of your mind right certain words have changed their meaning over time a lot of people say oh because this 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 text is holy because god would never allow his word to be to be destroyed or manipulated and stuff like this but man that takes a lot of faith and a lot of blind faith where you just follow blindly because you don't want to look around you and go oh, gee, what's going on here man right and the universe is expanding for example how could you know something like that back then uh, in the, uh, rambo rambo check this out according to certain indian religious or sex or tribes they mentioned that the universe is not only expanding but our universe 
is 15 billion years old and they said this hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago expanding and they have stated that the universe will expand for a certain number of billion years and then collapse back in on itself and this is the certain number of iterations of this universe there are lots of different tribes and religions and philosophies have said many many things right how many times that you're uh would get rewritten exactly true but i don't know i was just wanting to know about space physics now we're off track yeah we talked about space physics and this is by the way a little uh bang off it, it is a good question out on the outskirts of the universe question mark the matter-based universe what's there right i feel you it has been used to control the masses, but it was created to make fellowship common goals. And uh, Dante, da, 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 the world also says, okay, I'm going to skip down. Uh, I had my fill of religious uh, discussion. What did all of Saint crack, crack me a lot? I'm into that. I'm the intended. Religion is one thing, belief is another thing. Belief is another thing. Belief, personal. Religion is personal, right? And personal is personal, man. From knowledge perspective, I feel like throwing up our hands and saying it's God is the easy way out. It's an excuse not to ask why and to remain complicit. Uh, if anything, anything, why must science and religion be at odds? They can complement each other. They can, 100%. Right? The problem is people shut, shut off the other side. Right. Uh, hopefully I don't I don't think we've done that right but I disagree with centralized religious institutions of course right I don't I don't agree with any centralization the light is between heaven and universe and the Rambo is a ball of light <laughs> are you sure it's a ball <laughs> why not the cube I'm personally, I, I personally like, I don't know, strings, right? Why is it here? I like cookies. Maybe we're on a cookie. Right. Chocolate chip cookie. You know, so Spectre, you know what I always thought was interesting? the repeat ability of nature rapid repeatability of nature look at the structure of the atom they lay out of structures and cells and then the construction of cells that make up the body extrapolating it further in the solar system could it be possible that our un universe is only one of many that follow a similar structure very well said enter multiple universe theory and i love multiple universe theory the membrane theory jumping from one universe to the other and gravity playing a bigger role right membrane theory fantastic guys come in all shapes and sizes so there is no normal for everyone but there is a normal for you if you find your normal isn't so normal anymore it could be due to pyrone's disease also known as pd a curve with a bump that bothers you <laughs> isn't normal it should be checked by a <laughs> i don't know what this stuff is i have no idea what i just read rambo <laughs> your question i'm gonna read this so rambo question what form does the universe what form does the universe have and then you say just google it you trust google <laughs> Rambo. google the term google it now is for simpletons that want to be follow don't want to think for themselves if you're going to do research don't just google it go to tuck, tuck, go go to different search engines go to forums ask questions because if you just rely on googling things to find an answer you're you're going down a very very dark road you're you don't know you're not going to know very much pretty soon two plus two is going to be not four <laughs> right? 
believers or non-believers, you can't deny that those texts have had some significant utility and arguably still have things to teach us. Yeah. Good point, Olive. Good point. Who is this random dude? Exactly. Talking about is that what he's talking about? Damn. Is that what I read? Damn. Thanks for spreading body positivity, I guess. It's not what I was not that I didn't know what I read. I used medicinal herbs last night to help me sleep. My bad became so comfy. We need to legalize it worldwide. I sleep like a baby. Relative minds, thank you for the follow. Comfy. The truth is that nobody actually knows how universe was created. It's just a theory about Big Bang. Yeah. And we will according we will never know on mass as a species how it was formed. I, I don't want to say never, but it's not gonna happen in my lifetime. And I doubt very much it's gonna happen in your lifetime, right? The best we can do is be comfortable with our understanding how the universe exists and our role in it, right? But if we're we believe that our role in it is to push our belief onto others, you know you're wrong. Wait a minute, excuse me. The correct term. Okay, dude. Oh, track. We don't talk about, like, no. This is a nice conversation, say track. I'm going to time you out. <laughs> yeah. Time out. Time out. I haven't had a time out for a while. Oh, did I spell it right? Time out. Doop. Did it work? Yeah. Yay. Dante, did you do it too or no? <laughs> did I do it? These patterns and prime numbers. There's patterns and prime numbers. Oh man, if you can find it, you are the G the G dude. No, I left it to you. Thanks, Dante. Thanks. Yeah, um, my tolerance level, by the way, Dante, being on Twitch for like a year and a half now, my tolerance level for for, for simpleton trolls uh, is very low. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> Fun. Okay, guys, that's about a couple hours. We did math. We did the universe. We did. Uh, we did. We did other things. Right. I hope, hope everyone enjoyed the conversation. Judgment Day will come when the sun be forms. There's an image that you can do. You should all face it. Homeo sapien was an evolutionary <laughs> I'm waiting for the age of the mutants, homo superiors, to kick in, right? Maybe I'll go find Peter Stanchnik from the Valiant Universe and get him to activate my Psyot abilities. Definitely won't do it with the Harada Foundation, right? My head might explode. <laughs> Speaking of prime numbers, a pair of mathematicians proved the twin prime conjecture for a finite number set. No proof for the whole thing, though. I, I believe the twin prime was, uh, it was proven a while ago, wasn't it? Or there is not proven, but there is a um, there is a method. There's formulas that you can find twin primes. I believe I looked in this up a long time ago. Aliens created humans. Now they they fed up. They left Earth and left us humans here. Sticks are and maybe, according to one of the uh, outer limits programs from nineteen sixties, um, these aliens come down to Earth and you know they have a meeting with the un with the human delegation and they say listen we created you guys we planted the seed and you were an experiment but you have failed in your in your design right and this is a great episode by the way they say they have you have failed in your design so the humans are like oh my god what and the aliens go okay since we failed in this experiment we're about to wipe the earth clean right so we're gonna get rid of all you humans so the humans are like, oh, no, no. So they have a UN special meeting, uh, special sessions and stuff. And they declare peace around the globe. So all wars end, all conflict end. So they have a meeting 
with the aliens again and you know they're sitting across the table with the aliens and they say look we found peace we have, we're no wars or anything like this and the aliens look at each other and go you you misunderstood us you were designed to wage war you were supposed to be soldiers we came back to make sure that you guys are in full-blown global warfare and we're going to use you as foot soldiers for conquering other places we didn't want you to have peace we wanted you to wage war and you guys have utterly failed at that you're barely waging wars with many conflicts all over the place where's the nuclear weapons going off and they get into their spaceship and destroy the earth right it's a great episode great episode no proof well, we found two more recently oh you found two more recently okay cool the twin primes i think it's requires so much computational power some are thinking it requires quantum computers yeah i i hope i, I be careful what you hope for i hope uh i live long enough to see quantum computing kick in it'll change the game right this is not going to convince anyone here <laughs> what one about a sexual relation with a nine-year-old uh, there's actually a lot of theories that all these god in the worlds are actually aliens yeah agreed agreed that's always the failing of the religion da, da, da. okay so we we're gonna skip all the religion talk dealt with it enough right okay gang thank you for being here uh, i hope you enjoyed good conversations good conversations and we're gonna return in two days uh we're gonna do um a relationship live stream and that one let me make sure i got the times right we're gonna do da, 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 on Wednesday, November thirteenth, uh, at six thirty p.m. Six thirty until eight thirty p.m. We're gonna do a relationships live stream, and what I'll do most likely on Thursday, I'll try to announce a couple of live streams to do on the weekend, talk about current events, okay. Um, and then if there's anything you guys want us to do, uh, post the stuff on Discord, and um, you know any recommendations or suggestions and stuff i'll try to fit them in um and then we'll take it from there okay what was the feeling bye bye specter uh thanks for the stream chico my pleasure jedi jedi tastic jedi tastic take care and enjoy yourself for sure you guys as well man you guys as well thank you for being here rambo thanks for dropping by it's always good to talk about things every now and then god God is in. Peace is out. <laughs> He's out. <Olive>. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Gibby. Charlie. Nice, nice. Love you, too. Love you, too. Love you guys, too. Thank you for uh, getting us to this point where we are right now, where we've reached this point doing all these streams. Thank you to all the mods. Dante, thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace out, everyone.